What's up, people? Ben Sam Lack TV. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking your time to check out the videos. I know your time is very valuable. So thanks for taking your time to check out this video. And I just had some questions. I hope people who are more educated in it, I've done a lot of research on Bitcoin. And I know a lot of people ask me about it. And I, I have a good understanding on it. But I still had a lot have a lot of questions and just one, you know, worries, concerns about Bitcoin. Um, you know, I, I, either way, I think I missed the boat. We missed most people missed the boat. You could buy fractions of Bitcoin if you like, but at 45, 48,000, that's where it's at. When I'm making this video, who knows if, if it's going to be at a hundred thousand when you watch this video or, or, uh, or a dollar or $10, whatever. Um, you know, Bitcoin, I understand, uh, you know, I understand it in a nutshell. Many people have no idea what Bitcoin is. And then when they hear it's 40 some thousand dollars, they're like, wow. So it's, it's think about it. now number, you know, as, in, as a Christian uh, point of view, I see that this, this, you know, whether Bitcoin will be a, a means of exchange in our near future or future, uh, that will be something we'll have to see. But it definitely is, looks like it, it just proves more of the Bible that it is bringing in cryptocurrencies are bringing in uh, the beast system, the mark of the beast. They're setting the stage. The Bible says, if you don't know the Bible, I'll tell you, it says that in the end times, you know, there, uh, you'll have to take a mark either on your, your hand or your forehead, your, your right arm or your forehead, your right hand that will you, if you don't have that mark, you will not be able to buy or sell. So this is what was prophesied for the end times before Jesus returns. So, you know, many people had thought it would be a, a microchip or something like that. Some people, you know, I've heard worrying about the vaccine that that to me is not the mark of the beast. But even that could be setting the stage for 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 the population, for humanity to be open, to have to take some kind of mark or something that we would put on your right hand or forehead that would would allow you to make purchases, which you see how Google, Microsoft, Apple are all in the race to set up systems that allow us to, you know, in these cryptocurrencies, everything's going to be on on your phone or on some kind of chip or something that we're like, all your information, you know, did you get the vaccine? You know, all your taxes will be able to be paid through it. Everything will be able to be tracked and traced. And that's why I think it's funny well, getting back to Bitcoin, you know, people say, oh, you can't track it. This is like for the people, you know, and it's like, no, it's not. This, who created Bitcoin? Okay, that's my first question. I always go back to that, you know, Satoshi Yokomo, whatever his name is. We don't even know who that is. First, first question to me, first red flag, like, why don't we know who he is? Most people have, speculate, most people have, I've talked to have, you know, their reasoning, but just for the fact that this cryptocurrency that's, that, you know, is going to 40 some thousand dollars, no one even know who created it for sure that to me is is interest is weird okay number two it's not regulated still okay so that's why to me it's the biggest concerns is it's not regulated will there be a cryptocurrency that we're all going to use probably yes because eventually then it's going to transfer to some kind of to me here's what someone told me and i agree what the bible says is it is the mark of the beast so it should be very clear. Now, so it says that the elect will be fooled. And I, I, I believe because most you know, people, including Christians, are going to get so immersed in the world system that they are just going to uh, just accept that as something that is just part of the system. And they're not going to question. Maybe, maybe the Bible is going to get snuffed out. Maybe we're, the Christians are not going to be able to speak at a certain point so that people won't have that information and knowledge to know. You know, like my kids, if I don't teach them, you know, so, so if you're a Christian, you're not teaching your kids these things. If you just are a church, a, a bench warmer in the church and you don't know the Bible, you're not going to teach your kids that, that the matter of the uh, mark of the beast. And, and, and the Bible shows that, that, you know, when you're in sin, your eyes are blinded, that you're, you're blind. So even though you know the facts, you know the truth, you still don't see it. The Lord lets you get blind because you, you chose to live in sin. You, you sin, you chose to rebel against God. He'll give you a, a he'll, he'll let you be blind, your eyes blind, your ears deaf. So, um, so you, you know, many Christians will fall for it, even though it'll be obvious, I think, to those Christians who are aware and who are paying attention that it'll be a mark of the anti, the, some kind of the Antichrist name, his mark, something that, you know, the Antichrist is going to set up and, and people will know it'll be attributed to him. And if you don't take it, you're not aligned with the Antichrist in some way. So, you know, there's going to be things that are setting the stage for this mark of the beast. So like, 
you know, I know Bill Gates has some technology that he's trying to, to create. And, and, and it's even, you know, it's even, uh, 2020 06, 06, 06, that's the, the patent number or something. So if you look that up, you know, so it's setting the stage, you know, you can, you can get microchips that you can put in your hand that you can walk in. You don't need keys. You can start your car. You can walk into your, your office without having any keys or anything. You can have your information on it. Some in, in Europe, this is years ago, this was created. You could, you went to clubs, you can get in the clubs if you had the microchip. So these are all things I think that eventually they're going to work its way through to get to the final product, which the Antichrist then who will save the world, you know, will be the worldly figure that, that everyone looks up to. And man, this guy's, he's, he saved us from all, all the, the things that are happening. They love him. He sets up his mark. He uses all the technology that's been created to then say, okay, I've created something. Everyone has to uh, use this. Now, will that be Bitcoin? Which, you know, which cryptocurrency, which digital currency will it be? That's the question now. That's why my question is, okay, number one, we don't know who created Bitcoin. Number two, it's not regulated. So there's so many cryptocurrencies as well. So here's the thing is, it's not regulated. How, do, you know, you could tell me, yes, it's, you know, the, the source has to, each coin has to be mined. And there's only so many that are being mined, you know, supposedly, hypothetically. And so at a certain point, there's no, there's not going to be any more and everyone has to, you know, buy those. So what's, what's to stop the government from just coming in and saying, we're going to, we're, we're not going to use this anymore. It's done. This, you know, only, only we can print money and currency. And this is considered currency. This is, we no longer could have Bitcoin in existence because, you know, th there's people who are using it for, for illegal activities. You know, there's a lot of reasons they could just say, we're going to stop using this for some reason though, they're letting people use it now. So on the other side, maybe they're, the government's the ones who've controlled, who created it and they're allowing people to switch over to it then maybe they'll switch from that to the real one. But, it, it, you know, it's already, well, most of the wealth has already been transferred at that point. So it may not be Bitcoin, but maybe in the, in the short run, people, the rich people are, are using Bitcoin to transfer the wealth to themselves. I don't know. So, but you have to be very careful because, I mean, it is, to me, it's not a currency. It's a speculative investment, I guess, or bet. That's what, all it is right now because it's not regulated. You can't, you know, you can, some people can, you know, exchange, even uh, Elon Musk is going to let you buy Teslas with it pretty soon. So in that sense, it's becoming uh, where you can use it in everyday life, but we're far from there. And, and until the government okays it and allows it and it gets regulated. And at that point, if something's regulated and used as a currency, it has to be stable. It has to be, you know, it can't be $20,000 last month and now 40, you know, because, you know, why, why would, someone want to sell you a product and then knowing that next month I might've lost half the value in what I just gave you. It's worth now, I, you know, or else I, I took your cryptocurrency. I gave you my car or house and now the crypto cut in half. I just lost half my investment. So it, it has to become regulated. Now think about if, and some of these other, you know, dot, dog, dot coin, dogs, coin, dodge, doggy coin, whatever it's called. They, what, what's, what's really to stop them? And so maybe someone can, can, you know, respond in, in the, in the comments, let me know, let, let the viewers know that what's to stop them from really just adding more coins and just creating them out of thin air. You know, there could be a system, but why couldn't Satoshi Yokomoto or whoever created Dogecoin just, just, you know, add just, he's creating them out of thin air. He can just raise the price as well, as much as he wants and create, keep creating new coins. As long as people buy them, he's just getting money for free. The people who created these coins, they're getting money for nothing. They didn't really make a product. It's just digital numbers that they're turning out in some way, you know, they're mining them. Sure. That's what they're telling you. So what's to stop them from adding more coins in the system and no one really knows no one has really any idea how many coins it's not regulated they could say there's so many they could drop the price it's not going to hurt them because they are creating them out of thin air and then people start selling them you know and then they can just take those back and then they can raise the price as much as they want and then people have to pay that and they're just getting all the money just getting that money in so you know I understand that there's, there's, uh, you know, the way that it's created and the way that it runs and, and the way that it's processed and through the computers and all these things, I, I'm not, you know, an engineer or anything. So I don't know the exact details, but is it possible that they could just add coins into this since it's not regulated, they can just create the number make the numbers look however they're supposed to add more numbers, but not, not put it on, 
out in the open that there's that many coins circulating. That's why if you have physical assets in your hand, they can't manipulate it. They can manipulate the numbers, but there's still only so much, so many things. So paper, they could do the same thing. Cash, they could just keep creating more cash. And they're, they're, they're just printing it out of paper. So the same thing, they're not, they can put that in the system, more cash, and it just, all it does is devalue. They can, you know, but the difference with Bitcoin is they can raise the price. So you, you can keep up with that inflation of that number. The problem is they can, it becomes very volatile. So they can crash it, they can bring it up, they can crash it, they can bring it up. And you're giving your real coin back and losing your money. They didn't lose anything because they can just, they're, they're creating this, this, this product they've created is, is, was created out of thin air. It was not created with any effort or work or any product. It's just numbers. They're giving numbers. To me, it's the biggest, you know, deception of all time, the biggest scam. And then you guys like Elon Musk and some of these rich guys pumping it. They're going to make so much money off of it. You think that they, if they know, you know, what's going on, they're going to be able to, they're going to be the same thing. They're going to let it get pumped and take it out. When it drops, put it back in, take it back out. The only thing is they're, they're also vulnerable if they're not careful to the ups and downs. Whereas the guys who are creating these coins, they have no risk whatsoever. They can just create new coins. They can, they can pop, boost the numbers however they want. You know, and, and because it's not regulated, it's not regulated. So no one's watching what they're doing. Um, maybe, maybe there's self-regulation. You guys tell me. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know that much about it. I'm just wondering and, and thinking if it's not regulated, what's to stop them from just, just doing whatever they want with the numbers, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's, that's, that's why I'm very, it's just so hard for me. I, I, I've made money with cryptocurrencies in the past, but I've gotten out because I just couldn't get past. And that, that's maybe that's me, like, you know, my, my inability to get past the, the, that it's, it, it, I don't have money. Let's put it this way. I just don't have money to gamble, to, to just lose. A lot of young people, they got money to put in there and they can lose it. That's fine. You can, you can start back over. I got two kids. I got a wife. I can't, I don't want to lose any of that money, money. And I feel like there's other investments that are a lot more secure that you can make money with. So with Bitcoin or Ethereum, yes, you can, you can get rich as we, as we've seen very fast. But because it's not regulated, I just feel there's no real security in that coin at all. Now, if the governments do regulate it, either they are in on it and this was all part of the plan and they're, they're going to use it or they're going to just get rid of it. And all the rich people will just transfer their money probably before, you know, into the new currency, cryptocurrency, whatever. They're, they're all going to know. They're all, they golf together. They go to clubs together. They're, they all live. They're all neighbors. They're going to know when to transfer out, you know, so that's the thing. So. Something to think about. Um, help me, though, if you have any uh, insight on that. I, I think it's the biggest deception Ponzi scheme that's ever existed. Um, setting up for the, for the mark of the beast, of course, system. Um, so it's, it's, it's just, to me, proving more that the Bible is real. And if you don't believe the Bible, read it. The more you read it and you look at life situations, life happenings, you're going to have a lot of people who claim that they're speaking for God and that they're, they're making claims, especially recently. We've, we had a lot of people saying things that God said this just read the Bible and there's enough prophecies in there for us to know what's going to, that what's going to be happening here. And those have all been coming true. Okay. So as long as someone's quoting the Bible and, and giving you Bible prophecy, then you can be very sure that's true. Anything other than that, you know, you could just, it could just be someone in someone's emotion saying that Jesus told me this, God told me this, that's fine. You know, we could pray about it. We can, we can have faith and, and hope for the best for our families, for our neighbors, for our friends. But in the end, if it's not in the Bible, then we can't really certainly say 100% God said that. So I would just stick with the Bible and give, that's what one, one thing the Lord's really been showing me recently. Just speak what the Bible says. And there's a lot of prophecy that it, it's coming true, it's came true, and it's going to come true. And, and all these things that we see happening, just, just be aware. It's, it's been predicted by the Lord from the, from the Word of God. And it's setting up for this world system. And, and Bitcoin is very interesting, right? So many people are involved in it now. So I just want to make a video because um, help me understand why, why some of you guys are way more knowledgeable. Why should I have security in this Bitcoin to know that it, it's not being manipulated behind the scenes because it's not regulated? And that could have any faith or trust in it. Um, other than... I'm I'm willing to lose a thousand dollars. I'm just gonna buy some. Other than that, and and just let the and black or spin it. You can either call black or red, or you know call a number, right? You know, spin that wheel and 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 or, or shoot them dice and call call it. That that's pretty much. It's either gonna be fifty fifty. You're gonna make money or not. Um. So and at this point, it's it's even harder for me then to to get in. I know Elon Musk just bought it at this at this height. So 
you know, maybe that that could give you some security to know that if you invested some at this point, you, you may get a return, but he can, he has deep pockets. He can, he can hold out if this thing, you know, the, the, the ups and the downs. So on that side, that's, I'm playing devil's advocate for myself on both sides that, you know, he bought it at this point, but if it drops to 20,000 for another five years, he's fine. He doesn't have to worry about it. He, he, you know, he can just hold that. So, so on, on that side, that's just because he bought it now, doesn't really mean, you know, that it's going to keep going up. You know, I've had a lot of, you know, I, I follow the stock market and stocks and I've had a lot of, you've seen a lot of people on CNBC, you know, the bankers, Jamie Dimon, Goldman Sachs, they're going to tell you, this is the time to buy. Everyone's buying the stocks right now. And then that's when it crashes. So on that side, right. Okay. So that's, that's my, I had some thoughts on it, some questions. Um, and I would like some, some feedback. I know a lot of you guys have done way more research than me. That would help me. Cause I have a lot of people that approach me and ask me about Bitcoin. Um, and for people who want to own Bitcoin as a stock, here's a, um, a tip. You can get uh, Bitcoin in your IRA or in your portfolio. That's by, there's a stock called GBTC. GBTC on the stock, you know your stock on the stock market. Um, it's, a, it's actually a, a fund, a trust fund or a hedge fund or something that, that buys Bitcoin and cryptos, deals with cryptos, and it follows, uh, that's the ticker symbol, GBTC. So now it's only at 34, 35. It's actually, because it, it was at 1,000 when Bitcoin was at 1,000, and then they split it like 1,000 times or 10 times, whatever it was, to where then it went down to $35, but it's still in proportion. So if, if Bitcoin's 35,000, this thing's like 35, 34, it's around that. So it traces. Now the difference with this, with the stock, then with Bitcoin, Bitcoin, you know, is just going to keep going up or down stocks because if enough investors get into that stock, so there's plus and minuses and minuses, you don't, I mean, you're, you're trusting that these guys own the Bitcoin like they say. So it should be backed by Bitcoin. The plus is that if more people buy stock than our actual, than the actual Bitcoin or, you know, what the fund has, that stock can actually rise faster than Bitcoin. So you see what I'm saying? And then they can reverse split it back down to be even again, or they can, they can split it, not reverse, but positive split it. So you, you technically could with the, with the stock, you could, you could actually go make more money than, than actual Bitcoin. Um, and then you would also be able to have the tax right on purposes thing because Bitcoin, we don't know what the tax regulation the, 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 you know, there, they have some now, but the government could at any time just be like, we, we want 50% of your profits of Bitcoin. We want 100% of your product. Who knows what they're going to do? You know, the government may let Bitcoin keep trading, but they, they're going to come in and, and get their piece. Trust me. Um, with a stock, you know, you can just, you know, you can you could have it tax-free in your IRA, whatever, growing. Um, so I'm not giving you any advice. I'm not a um, financial advisor or anything. This video is all for educational purposes, of course, but I'm just giving people a tip to know. When I saw that, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So if I ever do want to own Bitcoin again, you don't have to go to Coinbase Open Exchange. If you already have an IRA or a stock account, you can get GBTC. Um, and remember, it can go to zero like any anything. So in that sense, don't buy this because I'm, I'm just telling you that that is there as a is a, a option for people that want to buy Bitcoin in through their IRA as, as a stock. So um, I don't, I have nothing to do with that company, just so you know, but I just, I just saw that and found that I thought, Oh, that's kind of cool. So I'll just, you know, tell people about that. So I better end there. Um, please uh, give me your feedback in the comments. I would love it. I would love to be more educated on Bitcoin. I know some of you guys, especially some of you, you young guys are way more educated. Please give me some feedback. Let me know, let my viewers know, you know, um, and thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your watching. Tune in next time, Ben Samalak TV. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye.